So now you see that we have a slower lead vehicle in front of us, mm -hmm. and the system proposes us to do lane change, indicating by the blue arrow. We will just press it. So we confirm the proposal of the of the vehicle, and now it will automatically change lanes. So the car will only propose us a lane change. Mm -hmm. Now I set the 100, and let's say I will go now to 124. We will start accelerate automatically. So the, this, the car will constantly monitor the environment, the traffic on both adjacent left and right lanes. So we can see now that we are overtaking trucks and we also see the trucks here. And the red line indicates that we have an inhibition to change lanes to the right and to the left. Yes, so if I set the turn signal to the left, then it won't do anything. Yeah. But now it's red, so it's green. Yeah. So if I just set the turn signal to the right, then it will automatically change lanes. So it works either way. Either I use the arrows to change lanes, or I use Wait, the, the indicator. Or I use the turn indicator. Yeah. Okay. And now you see that my set speed is 124. Yeah. I recognize the lead vehicle, so we automatically brake to 100. So, and this car is using G GPS as well to recognize the road and mm -hmm. where to be, let's say, not only the cameras mm -hmm. and the radar. So, th so the localization is works in two ways. So first we have our own sensors like cameras, which can see what the camera sees. This has the lead, so whatever the camera sees is correct. And then we use Adasa's data, which is a digital map. And on this digital map are things labeled like traffic signs, traffic lights, how many lanes, the type of the lane marking, whether they are dashed or solid. And then we use this information to confirm what our sensors see. So like we have an exit in 1.8 kilometers. Yeah. Of course, the camera cannot see this, yeah. but we just visualize this that we could take this exit. So we use both information, but the lead always has our own sensors. Yeah. Okay. So they cooperate all together, but the camera is the, the main yeah. one, I would say. Push grid, please. Sorry? We will see this on the way back, because now we will take this exit. Uh -huh. So in 1.2 kilometers, we will have an exit. Okay. I just confirmed this one, that I want to take this. Okay. And uh, this is a prototype, as you told me, but in the exactly. future, how we could choose all of them? We mm -hmm. will have a kind of a a touch screen in the middle or it will be something on the steering? So I think it will be probably both. Mm -hmm. So we haven't decided yet, but I don't think that you will see something like this, like uh -huh. a tablet HMI. Uh -huh. I think probably you will have some, some buttons on the steering wheel, which also has um, some information in the instrument cluster. Okay. So it's not highly probable that you will see something like this. This is just a prototype tablet HMI. Mm -hmm. I think for the future we have other um, parts to, to visualize things. Yeah. So you have seen 300 meters in advance, we automatically set the turn signal, yeah. we applied an offset to the right, we are constantly observing that the lane is free, now it's free and we change lanes. Mm -hmm. So this sound was to take over. Yeah, because actually the car were quite close to us. Yes. No, because we are leaving the freeway now. Uh -huh. So this is a highway driving support mm -hmm. and if we are on the freeway then we can activate the system and once we leave the freeway then we have the sound which indicates to take over. Mm -hmm. You will see that we are also able to, to handle such curves mm -hmm. as you can see here. Yeah. We will demo this on the way back. But the main purpose is on freeways. Mm -hmm.